Good morning. My name's Bridget Shepherd and I'm the vicar of the Good Shepherd and St Peter's churches in Lee and this is the third time that I've done an assembly for Colts. We've now been at home for nine weeks. Nine weeks. And I wonder how you're feeling. There was some research that was done just over a week ago and the thing that it found was that most of us are now feeling bored. I suspect that comes as no surprise to you. In many families, we're coping with boredom by playing games, whether that's video games or whether it's good old fashioned board games. I wonder if in your house you've broken out in the Monopoly or started playing cards together. This is Jenga. I suspect many people have played it at some point in the past. The aim of the game is that uh, you remove a brick from the tower and then you place it on the top with the aim of getting the tower as tall as you can without it falling over. So as the game goes on, what happens is you end up with an incredibly wobbly tower. As I was thinking about all that's happening at the moment, it made me feel like life is a bit like one of these wobbly Jenga towers. Because many of us have lost the bricks that give us stability. We've lost the things that we normally rely on in life, whether that's the routine of getting up and going to school, seeing friends, being with family, playing sport, watching sport, all of the stuff that we normally enjoy, we are not able to do at the moment. And it does feel a bit like we've lost these key things that give us stability. And as a consequence, we're feeling a bit wobbly. Maybe in some families as well, you've lost a loved one, or perhaps you're worried at home because of the situation with jobs and finances. And it can feel a bit at the moment, like if one more brick gets taken away, that everything is going to fall apart. There's a story that Jesus told in the Bible all about building. And in the story, he talks about two builders. The first builder built his house on the solid foundation of rock. And then when the weather got bad, the house stood strong and was fine. But the other builder clearly thought there was a wonderful view of the sea and built his house on sand. And then when the bad weather came, the house fell apart, like my Jenga tower that's just collapsed. At the moment, with all that's going on, with the feeling that life is a bit wobbly, it is a moment to think about what is it in life that gives you a solid foundation? What do you rely on? What do you put your trust in? What keeps you grounded? Now, the answer will be different for each of us. Many of us, I think, look to family or to good friends at a time like this. Perhaps there are people who try to be positive and grateful for the good things that we have. Maybe there are other people who think about the future and think, well, I'll look forward to the good things when I can have them again. What keeps you going? What do you rely on at the moment? One of the things that I've done for the past nine weeks is every day I have taken my dog for a long walk. She is the fittest she has ever been. And when I'm out with the dog, I use that time to think, just to think about everything that's happening and also maybe to kind of get in touch with how I'm feeling as well. But I also use that time to pray. I don't pray in a very sophisticated way. I literally talk to God in my head. I tell him everything I'm thinking and feeling, all my hopes, all my fears, all the stuff that feels uncertain. I tell him how I'm worrying about the people I love. And that helps me to feel grounded. You'll know if you've played Jenga, then the, the best game happens when you get a really tall tower that's wobbly for ages. And the way to get a tall tower is to make sure it has a strong base. For me, my faith and my time spent with God is the strong base in my life. Like I say, it's not just that, I look to other things as well, good quality time with my family, the occasional treat to keep me going, and certainly a lot of time outside, I need fresh air to help me to feel positive when life is challenging. What about you though? What have you learnt about yourself over this past nine weeks? What helps you to keep going? Is it positive thinking? Is it having a routine and getting up every day and getting dressed? Are you finding that you're enjoying schoolwork or are you finding actually you're enjoying something else entirely? Maybe you're a person of faith as well or perhaps you're still working out what you believe. Perhaps faith and God 
could be someone that you could look to at a time when life feels wobbly. So whatever it is that's keeping you grounded and keeping you going, make time for it. Build time in for those things. And if for you, you have got faith, make some time for God or for stillness or for prayer or meditation, whatever it is, however you practice your faith. But I hope for each of us that we feel that we've got a solid foundation so that when life is wobbly, we know that at the base, we are really steady and grounded. Hang in there.